Good evening, fellow seniors, parents, guardians, family members, friends, educators, and special guests. Welcome to the 37th Annual Academic Recognition Celebration. This is an exciting occasion as we gather together virtually to recognize our outstanding seniors who have excelled throughout their educational careers. We are also honored to share this event with the educators who have provided encouragement along their journey and inspired many of their successes. Thank you for joining us on this special occasion. We would like to recognize and thank our local Kiwanis Club for their generous contribution toward the plaques our scholars will receive. Thank you for your continuous support of our students and our schools. With great pleasure, I have the opportunity of introducing to you Eric Marsh, our guest speaker. To many, Eric Marsh is most known for his creativity, innovation, and oftentimes supernatural ability to solve problems. Today, however, Eric comes to you as a proud 2005 Person High School graduate. After graduation, Eric went on to attend UNC Charlotte. While there, Eric walked onto the basketball team, charted an organization or two, started a small business, and most importantly, received a Bachelor's of Science in Civil Engineering. After graduating, Eric worked for five years as an engineer before enrolling at UNC School of Government and obtaining his Master's in Public Administration with a focus on local government and nonprofit administration. There he found his passion, strategic planning. Earlier this year, Eric was named number 29 on Engaging Local Government Leaders' Top 100 list of people who represent everything good in local government. Most recently, last week to be exact, Eric began his journey to obtain his doctorate in strategic leadership. Eric's life's passion is cultivating greatness with the people, systems, and organizations of the future. Welcome, Mr. Marsh. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. These are uncertain times. These are unique times. These are times full of questions and possibilities on top of the ones you typically ask yourself, like, what am I going to do next? Um, but there's one thing that I want you to know right now is that it's, that's not in question. And that is the fact that you made it. You graduated. You persevered. You let persever You helped. You committed to the task. Um, perseverance finished this perfect work in you right now through high school. And here you are looking out into what's next. And you're like, you might be asking yourself, what am I going to do? Um, you've went through a lot of unusual challenges of late with COVID on top of the typical challenges of going through school, the tests, the papers, pulling yourself out of bed every single day. But guess what? That's not going to stop. You're still going to have to pull yourself out of bed every single day, no matter what you choose next. Despite all of these things that you've gone through, you've made it. Um, when Ms. Lipscomb asked me to come and speak, uh, the first thing I thought about was my banquet, my reception when I was an honor student. And I was dialing back in my memory as to what that speaker said, and I don't remember. I honestly do not remember. I remember what I wore. I remember I had on my favorite brown shirt with my black tie. I remember my mom was there. I remember that it rained. I remember all these different details about that day, but I do not remember what that speaker said. And I went back in my mind in hopes of getting some kind of inspiration as to what I should tell you today. But then I thought about it. Like I, if I would have Googled that thing, that speech that day, well, last week, to be honest, if I would have Googled it, it wouldn't have came up because Google wasn't a thing then. Um, like nothing is the same and nothing that they would have told me then would have been particularly applicable to where you are right now. And so in all honesty, I just have to come to you and just keep it 1000. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you the absolute truth as to what I believe is going to help you thrive in this next season. Um, so I have a couple points I'm going to share. Some of them might be entertaining, some of them might not. Uh, but this first one is that adulting is the biggest finesse known to man. It's the biggest finesse known to man. And I don't say that to you to scare you. 
I don't say that to you to intimidate you. I say that to you to let you know that life already moves fast enough. You don't have to speed it up. Life already moves fast enough. You don't have to speed it up. Literally, don't rush your life. Take your time. So many people get to a place further down the road and they wish they would have took more time to just breathe. Don't be so focused on reaching that destination or fulfilling your destiny that you forget how to dream. I work every day with people. Here, my, my job is strategy and innovation. I'm the creative guy in the office and I work with so many people who have forgot how to dream. Do not forget that. If you take on too many things too soon, if you move prematurely, if you just overanalyze yourself to death, you'll take away from the quality of your own life. So right now, as you're looking at me, I want you to take a second and just breathe. Just take a breath and breathe. And whenever you hit an adversity, whenever you hit a wall, I want you to do that same thing. People go to counselors, people go to therapists, and one of the main things they tell them to do when you get there is to relax. Breathe. Don't forget to breathe. The next thing I want you to do in your life is to be decided. To be decided. I'm not talking about picking a decision and going back and forth over different decisions. What I'm saying is get beyond the fleeting thought of you deciding where you're going to go with your life and say, I am decided. I am decided. I'm going to push through no matter what. I'm not going to quit. This one thing I've learned about life is that adversity is sometimes as constant as change itself. Adversity is sometimes as constant as change itself. But, one, but the thing you have to remember is that if you are committed to finishing, if you're committing, committed to finishing, committed to pushing to the next level, you will always, always have what it takes to get there. The next thing I want to talk to you about is just your perspective, your perspective. Things are going to happen. Um, you're going to move into this next season of your life. You're going to see things. Um, you're going to see things you don't understand. Um, things are going to happen to you. The unpredictable, like I was talking about adversity, but the most important thing that you can do as you look forward into your life and as you take on these different things is keep a positive perspective. Keep a positive perspective. I don't know what's going to happen for you. I don't. I can't predict the future. Um, so many of you might be going to college, college. Some of you may not. Some of you might be feeling bad about not going to college. Some of you might be scared to go to college. It doesn't matter. None of that matters. What's happening today is you're not transitioning into college. You're transitioning into a new phase of life. And that's going to look different for everyone. It's going to look different for everyone. And if you're going to interpret the things that are happening around you, if you're going to take on these new endeavors, it's going to require a positive outlook because when things go wrong, you're going to have to be able to see the good and all of the bad. You're going to be able to, you're going to have to be able to see the message that life has given you in the midst of the mess that you're in. You're going to have to be able to sit back and look, where, and look at what happened to you. And some of the church folks would say, testify find the testimony inside of your test. Like it's so important that you are going, it's so important that you focus on the good things. You have to focus on the good things because there's so many different things going on in the world around us right now. Even in the midst of this pandemic, you could be upset that you're socially distanced and that you don't have one of the hottest graduations ever outside on the field. But instead you have received a very unique opportunity to have one of the most original graduations ever. I didn't have that privilege. And so as time goes on, more things are going to happen and it's going to force you to pivot. But the most important thing you're going to have to do is to be positive. And in that decided state, you're going to have to respond. You're going to have to respond. The next thing I want you to do is this, be yourself. That's not rocket science. And I'll honestly, a lot of people struggle with their identity, even later in life. You know, as you travel, go places that are gonna help you discover new facets of yourself. Get to know yourself, know what you like, that's important. 
Know what you want to do for a living. That's important. Don't commit your whole life to doing something you don't like. That is important. As someone who has made decisions that I don't, that, that I don't necessarily, that I might regret, and has also made decisions that have been super tough, but have yielded me the greatest return of investment in myself, the only thing I can say to you is to be yourself. Follow your heart, follow your dreams, and yes, and make sure that the decisions that you make contribute to our society and to our community in a positive way. You have to be about yourself, you have to be about getting to know yourself, but you also have to realize that you're taking, you're taking part in something much larger than yourself. A lot of the problems that we face in this world today, a lot of the things and issues that we struggle with, even as youth going into adulthood, if there was somebody like you, like me, that said, you know what, I, I, could, I could be me, I could be selfish right now, but I can commit to solving this problem, then so many of these problems would not even exist. So many of these problems, these issues, these situations that we face, these social systems that some of us go against every single day in local government, some of these things would not even exist. So be committed to being the change that you want to see in the world. It sounds cliche, but honestly, it just takes one. It just takes one. So that's what I want to tell you. Um, that's how I want to encourage you. And then I want to give you this last one. And that is greatness is an input, it's not an outcome. Greatness is an input, not an outcome. So often we're focused on getting results, making sure we achieve perfection. But the only thing you can do is the best that you can do. The only thing you can do is the best that you can do. And if you wake up every morning and you say, I'm going to give my best to whatever this situation is, I promise you'll have more peace. You have more rest and you have more success. You have way more success. Be intentional on how you commit your time. Be, be intentional on where you spend your energy. Be intentional on how you build your relationships. At the end of the day, sometimes all we have is relationships. Right now, you're at home, you're watching on your television, you have been sent home to be with your family, to be with your family, to be socially distanced, right? You might be upset, you might be perturbed, but I'm telling you, there's gonna come a day where you're gonna be like, Ugh. I, want, I wish I could go home. I wish I, could, I wish I could be at home right now. And that's what I'm telling you. Like you have to be intentional on putting in the time. If you want a great relationship with your mom, you're going to have to fight for it. The distractions are gonna come. You're gonna always have something else to do. Some of the biggest decisions that I regret is not picking up the phone sometimes because in my being focused on myself and achieving my goals, Help was on the other end of the line and I ignored it to keep pushing through by myself. So do that. Remember that greatness is an input. Be positive, be positive. Keep a good perspective on life. Be yourself, be yourself, be yourself. And most importantly, with the first thing I said, just remember adulting is one of the biggest finesses known to man. It's gonna get harder before it gets better and you're always gonna be figuring it out you're always gonna be figuring it out. But you got through this and you'll be able to get to the next level if you just remember that we have your back. Roxborough has your back. In the same way that people have my back, we will have yours. So don't hesitate to reach back out to the people that have supported you and pushed you through to this point. As you move into these different these different realms and um, these different rooms of influence as you go through college. These are the moments that you are gonna live for, you're gonna remember forever. And you may not remember this speech in 10 years. <laughs> you may not remember, but you're gonna remember the people that have poured into you up to this point. You're gonna remember the decisions that you made right out the gate, because you're gonna hit the gate running. You're gonna come out the gate running. You're gonna remember those things. And those are gonna be the things that you're gonna look back on and say, that's the lasting legacy. That's what I wanna leave here in the family. So it's with great honor that I had this opportunity to talk to you today, to come back and speak to you about this. It's with great honor that I get to represent the class 2005. Uh, yeah, it's been a while, but, and I just wish you the best. I wish you the best. 
and I just look forward to seeing greatness out of each and every one of you. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Marsh. Ms. Brittany Booth, chorus teacher and person high school's teacher of the year will recognize each senior and their honored educator. Ms. Booth will also share the reason our seniors invited their educator. Good evening and a warm congratulations to our highly esteemed scholars. I can speak on behalf of all of my colleagues when I say that we are so proud of you and your accomplishments. Before we jump into the celebration of you and your mentors, there are a few things that I would like to share with you. For those of you who have spent time in my classroom, you are likely aware of my affinity for sunflowers. There are many reasons to appreciate a sunflower, aside from their bright colors and outward appearance. For one, sunflowers grow tall, reaching for the sun. Their stem grows thick and strong, more secure than any flower I know. Another fascinating tidbit about sunflowers is that when the sun is low in the sky or hidden behind the clouds, sunflowers face one another. Like many flowers, their seeds sit at the center as the petals unfurl. However, a unique trait of the sunflower that many overlook is how the seeds over time consume the petals as its life comes to a close. Then, as it begins to droop, the seeds fall and disperse over the ground. Now, I know you probably didn't plan to come here to hear a lesson on botany or to hear about how much Ms. Booth loves flowers, <laughs> but I hope that instead you can see yourself in this comparison. In my life, as I walk these halls and I go out into our community, I see a field of steadfast sunflowers. During your years of schooling, and even now in the unfortunate circumstances of a pandemic, you have shown resilience in the midst of adversity. You've stood tall and continued to grow, reaching upward toward continued success. And when the day has fallen dark, you've turned toward one another and toward our community so that we can support each other. And as you continue to grow, be mindful of the seeds that you pass along your path. Let them be seeds of mentorship, wisdom, and encouragement, leaving the grounds that you touch to be fruitful and enduring. The next chapter of your life will bring new adventures, challenges, and opportunities for growth. It will not always be easy. So, to close, I would like to share a quote that I've carried with me throughout my life. As Cynthia Ocelli wrote, For a seed to achieve its greatest expression, it must come completely undone. The shell cracks, its insides come out, and everything changes. To someone who doesn't understand growth, it would look like complete destruction. Don't be afraid to change or endure discomfort through these next phases of your life. It is through vulnerability, perseverance, and self-reflection that we become our best selves. Continue to work hard and aim your path upward, and in the midst of hard work, don't forget to stop and smell the flowers. It is our honor to announce the 2020 Person County Scholars. Students enrolled in the Person County Scholars Program will have maintained a 3.0 to 3.49 unweighted GPA throughout their entire high school career. Person High School's Person County Scholars are Ashraf Saleh Alashmali, Jeanette Bello Mejia, Kaya Alethea Bolton, Matthew Cole Bratcher, Chadwick Lavar Brooks, Alexis Sierra Carter, Candace Chambers Chandler. Philip Charles Clayton, Caleb Austin Cook, Hunter Alexander Fisk, Samuel Justice Jackson, Ashlyn Faith Jackwish. Raven Phoenix Johnson Corey Wade King Elijah Mackay Lilly Liam James Lynch Christina Marie Maricini 
Abigail Reese Mayer. Skylar Elise Morris. Dimitri Malik Morton. Jordan Curtis Murray. Courtney Kiera Paler. Connor Evan Plucker. Michael Shane Scott. Jordan Keith Thomas. Aaliyah Nicole Williams. Sheila Diane Williams. Cynthia K. Wood. It is our honor to announce the Person High School 2020 North Carolina Scholars. Students enrolled in the North Carolina Scholars Program will have maintained a 3.5 or higher unweighted GPA throughout their entire high school career. Person High School's North Carolina Scholars are Ewan Orion Allen William Joshua Bailey Jr. Robert Lee Bass Nova Mackenzie Bosick India Ladeja Nicole Burton Taylor Janai Carter Melissa Faye Carver Alexandra Elizabeth Chapman Kaylee Morgan Clark Colby Dwayne Compton Maya Angela Edwards Jesse Lynn Ellis Tony David Ellis Jr. Courtney Michelle Florence Colton Dwayne Fox Stella Sinclair Fuller Courtney Paige Gentry Michael Aaron Hall Davina Wen Hong Yesenia Ibarra Anaya Jackson Warren Lappin Christopher Blair Lipscomb Jr. Mary Elizabeth Long Kaylee Grace Mangum Matthew Timothy McCowan Jennifer Medina Peyton Nicole Pearsall Aaron Gordon Piper Meredith Abigail Porterfield Angel David Puebla Esparza Ashley Nicole Suddeth Ayana Nisa Thorpe Nathan Michael Vaughn Nicholas Villa David Keith Wesley 
Katie Doulet Tache Whitaker, Cameron Scott Whitman, Michaela Shantia Woods. Each scholar was given the opportunity to invite an educator who had a positive impact on their academic success. The following are the words of gratitude from the scholars to their invited guests. Person County Scholar Ashraf Alashmali honors Jonathan Tanaik. I chose Mr. Tanaik because he is an understanding teacher. He helps me with concepts I do not understand and encourages me to do better and not to give up. Mr. Tanaik is a very funny guy and makes math more fun. I would like to say thank you for everything you have done for me to become a better person. North Carolina scholar Ewan Allen honors Dwayne Johnson. Mr. Johnson is a phenomenal instructor. I had him for two classes, but the most memorable was AP World. He gave brilliant lectures containing information I recall to this day and opened my eyes to the history of the world. However, it wasn't just the lessons he gave that stuck with me, it was the intangibles too. Thanks to him, I was able to learn how to study effectively, refine my writing, and learn how to develop an efficient work ethic that will prepare me for college. I owe a lot to him. North Carolina scholar William Bailey honors Jonathan Tanike. Having moved to Roxborough the week prior to starting high school, I was new to the area and the school, but Mr. Tanike made me feel welcome. I met him on the first day of high school as my homeroom teacher, and since then he has taught me math too, while also being influential in my faith as a Sunday school teacher and mentor. Finally, Mr. Tanaik taught me how to study God's word with intentionality, and he has shown me how to love God and love others well by the way that he lives, teaches, and parents. North Carolina scholar Robert Bass honors Joanne Blanks. I selected Mrs. Blanks because although some students may say she gives too much work, it was one of the classes that I learned from and retained information from. Mrs. Blanks also was a pretty cool teacher. She would teach us, but also make information interesting and intriguing. Her class was one of the classes that I looked forward to in high school. Person County Scholar Jeanette Bello Mejia honors Jenny Hurdle. I selected Mrs. Hurdle because she is a wonderful teacher. She taught me how to read. Thank you, Mrs. Hurdle and Mr. Hurdle for everything that you've done for me. North Carolina scholar Nova Bosick honors Kristen Daniel. Miss Daniel was an amazing band teacher and really gave me a new love for music and playing the flute. She was always there for me with advice on anything in my life and she really pushed me to be the best person I could be. I've come out of my shell a lot over high school and she is one of the main reasons because of her pushing me to want to improve and because of her confidence in me. Person County Scholar Kaya Bolton honors Prentice Hargrove. You always made sure all of your students were okay mentally and physically. There was never a dull moment in your class. You taught us how to go hard for whatever we wanted. Person County Scholar Matthew Bradshaw honors April Revels. I selected this teacher because she has made a huge impact on my life. She's changed how I thought about school and also how I acted. She was like another mom to me and always helped me when I needed it. I thank her for making me the person that I am now. Person County Scholar Chadwick Brooks honors Gay Jones. This teacher is selected because she has taught me so much more than math and reading, but life lessons. She changed my life for the better in fifth grade. I was a troubling kid sometimes and she understood that, but she helped change those ways and I wouldn't be the young man I am today if it wasn't for her tough love in elementary school. North Carolina scholar India Burton honors Rhonda Day. Mrs. Day is so sweet and has always been caring. She's always pushing and encouraging everyone to do their best and that's why I love her. I appreciate her for everything. Person County scholar Alexis Carter honors Penny Wright. Mrs. Wright has always been a genuine and caring teacher. This has brought her to be a better teacher and someone who will always have a place in my heart. North Carolina scholar Taylor Carter honors Dwayne Johnson. Mr. Johnson is not only like a father figure, but a passionate, driven, and hardworking role model that touches the lives of every student he meets. Mr. Johnson has taught me that speaking up for what you believe in despite hardship is what creates change, not only in the classroom, but in the community. 
He has not only inspired me to pursue education, but I wouldn't be the leader that I am today without him, and I thank him for that tremendously. North Carolina scholar Melissa Carver honors Joanne Blanks. Mrs. Blanks has always pushed me to work harder. Not only has she taught me the value of honest, hard work, but seeking your passion. She has taught for many years and she has done it passionately and wholeheartedly, and it is an inspiration to me and my fellow classmates. Person County scholar Candace Chandler honors Samantha Rieger. All of my teachers have shaped me in a positive way throughout school, but Mrs. Rieger is the one who made me realize I wanted to be a high school English teacher myself. She is a teacher who I will always remember and keep in touch with after I graduate. I hope to be half as great as her when I begin my teaching career. North Carolina scholar Alexandra Chapman honors Jordan Garnett. I chose Mrs. Garnett because I have gotten to know her personally, not just as a teacher, but as a friend as well. She is one of many teachers that have made an impact on my life. North Carolina scholar Kaylee Clark honors Prentice Hargrove. I was lucky enough to have a lot of great teachers, but Mr. Hargrove was one who will always have a lasting impact on me. He truly wanted to see his students succeed, not just inside the classroom, but outside of school as well. He held me accountable and taught me certain lessons that have helped me and will continue to help me as I go through life. Not only is Mr. Hargrove one of the best educators I've had, he is someone I consider family and I will always be forever grateful for him. North Carolina scholar Colby Compton honors Jamie Phelps. Mr. Phelps was the first teacher I had who I felt genuinely made learning feel fun and got me to turn myself around in school. He has a really unique way of teaching that really gets across to students. I always enjoyed having his class. Person County Scholar Caleb Cook honors Penny Wright. Mrs. Wright inspired me to chase my dreams and has always held me to very high standards. She made me work harder and gave me the confidence to go after goals that I wouldn't have dreamt of without her guidance. North Carolina Scholar Maya Edwards honors Prentice Hargrove. Mr. Hargrove has had the biggest effect on me because he not only helped me in the classroom, but also with problems I had in my personal life. He went the extra mile to make sure that I was okay in every aspect. I can say his advice had helped me get through high school. One, four, three. North Carolina scholar Jesse Ellis honors Prentice Hargrove. I chose Mr. Hargrove for my teacher because he has always been there for me. Hargrove continuously made sure that I stayed on track and kept me out of trouble. He always made me push myself to do and be better in and outside of school. He has taught me many life lessons that I will carry with me as I journey off into the real world. I could never thank him enough for everything he has done for me within these four short years of high school. North Carolina scholar Tony Ellis honors Sheila Sanders. Mrs. Sanders pushed into our heads that when it comes to learning something new that you have to work it out yourself. When coming across new math problems, I always found a way to work it out myself because she told us that finding your own way works best. And throughout high school, I found that to be true because I learned my own tricks to doing math my own way. Person County scholar Hunter Fisk honors Cameron Garris. Mr. Garris always made sure that I was being the best person I could be inside and outside of school. He encouraged me to continue to learn new hobbies and grow as a musician. North Carolina scholar Courtney Florence honors Cindy Boycher. Mrs. Boycher has helped me throughout the years. She's helped to shape me into who I am. Without her, I don't think I'd be the mature and strong woman that I've turned into. She was the one I went to if I was down or mad, and she let me vent no matter the situation. Having her there to give me advice means more than I'll ever be able to show. North Carolina scholar Colton Fox honors Lauren Copley. Mrs. Copley is not only a brilliant teacher, but an even better mentor. Her words of strength and courage pushed me to be the best version of me that I can be. I would not have made it through middle school without her encouraging words and leadership. Thank you, Mrs. Copley, for all that you've done for me. Stella Fuller, North Carolina scholar, honors Brittany Booth. Miss Booth has been the greatest mentor I've ever had. I don't know where or who I would be without her. She helped me find my passion and continues to help me grow so that I can exhibit the best of my abilities. I hope one day she is as proud of me and my teachings as I am proud to have been her student. North Carolina scholar Courtney Gentry honors Jennifer Perrier. 
Having Jennifer Perrier as my teacher was a blessing in so many ways. It has become a tradition in my family to invite Mrs. Perrier to the Scholars Banquet because both of my older siblings invited her to theirs. Even after she was no longer my teacher, she has always been very supportive of my academic and dance activities. Mrs. Perrier was my teacher for two years, but she will always hold a special place in my heart. Michael Hall, North Carolina Scholar, honors Brittany Booth. Miss Booth has been my biggest supporter and mentor since I walked into her class. She taught me to believe in myself and to never quit and to continue to grow no matter what. North Carolina scholar Davina Hong honors Jonathan Tonike. Mr. Tonike is the type of teacher who knows how to teach well while also having fun doing it. He taught me a lot of lessons that apply to school, but also in life in general. He always has a positive attitude and can always brighten my day with one of his corny jokes. North Carolina scholar Yesenia Ibarra Anaya honors Brian Hurdle. Coach Hurdle was my homeroom teacher from freshman year through junior year. He taught me life lessons and he was my go-to teacher for random questions or snacks. Person County scholar Samuel Jackson honors Tori Daniel. Mr. Daniel had helped me to see how much I enjoyed game design and learning more about coding. He was always helping if I had questions and he was calm, cool, and collected. Mr. Daniel was casual and easy to talk to and to come to for help during class time. Person County Scholar Ashlyn Jackwish honors Michael Farrell. I chose Mr. Farrell because I have known him since my sixth grade year. Throughout the years, I've known Mr. Farrell. He has always pushed me to do the right thing. When Mr. Farrell asks you how you're doing, you can tell that he's being genuine and really wants to know. Mr. Farrell has always been there for me and my family, and I will always remember him as one of the most caring and genuine people I've ever met. Person County Scholar Corey King honors Jeff Jennings. I selected Mr. Jennings because I enjoyed his class and him as a teacher. He taught me cool things in class and in life. We also had some things in common that were pretty cool to talk about. North Carolina Scholar Jackson Lappin honors Josh Frazier. Coach Frazier planned enjoyable activities for Jim that would give us a break from the regular school day. Now when I see him, he always goes out of his way to speak to me and see how I've been. North Carolina scholar Christopher Lipscomb honors Dwayne Johnson. I learned a lot of history from Mr. Johnson in our two years together, but I think what I really have taken away from him are life lessons that I know I will never forget. I was a cocky freshman if I'm being honest, but Mr. Johnson wasn't afraid to call me out and knock me off my pedestal whenever it needed to be done. All of the reality checks he served me have helped me to develop into the senior that I am today, and I am more grateful for that than words can properly describe. Ultimately, he took an interest in me as a person and not just as a student, and by talking with and working with me, he has had a large impact on my life and I am eternally thankful for that. North Carolina scholar Mary Long honors Jordan Garnett. Mrs. Garnett was one of the best teachers I have ever had. As a middle schooler, I thought it was incredible to have a teacher that made learning so much fun that I looked forward to her class each day. She constantly encouraged me to push my limits in ways that I never thought I could. I will forever be grateful for the impact that she has had on my life. North Carolina scholar Kaylee Mangum honors Jamie House. Mrs. House is the type of person who does not give up on her students. She helped me pass all of my tests and gave me the confidence to do so. I chose Mrs. House because she pushed her students to achieve greatness. Person County Scholar Christina Maricini honors Jonathan Tonight. Mr. Tonight was always willing to help me when I had a question or did not understand something. I took STEM because he was the teacher and ended up loving it. He is always so supportive and is the best teacher I've ever had. North Carolina Scholar Abby Mayer honors Paige Cox. Coach Cox has not only taught me countless things about athletics, she also taught me so much about life. Coach Cox challenges me every day to be the best athlete in person that I can be. She went out of her way to learn about me and my sport freshman year and began to understand the importance and impact soccer has had on my life. Not to mention, she managed to get my idol to reach out to me and meet me in person. The past four years have been full of ups and downs, which include many hard times where I found myself doubting my abilities to play collegiate soccer and she pushed me through and believed in me through every moment. I would have struggled so much more in academics and athletics if it weren't for her support every day, and I cannot thank her enough. Two to four sentences just isn't enough to express how much she has impacted my life. 
North Carolina scholar Matthew McCowan honors Samantha Rieger. I selected Mrs. Rieger because she has helped me tremendously through my past three years of high school. Despite only teaching me during the 10th grade, Mrs. Rieger has still always been there for me. Whether it was life advice or college essay questions, Mrs. Rieger has always had an answer. North Carolina scholar Jennifer Medina honors Samantha Rieger. She's been my school mom ever since she's taught me. I know I can always rely on her to double check my essays, but also to be there for me on my bad days. I'm grateful that she helped me to figure out my best fit for college this year, being an alumni herself. Go Mountaineers! Person County Scholar Skylar Morris honors Greg Turner. Mr. Turner has been one of the best teachers I've ever had, if not the best. He has always made learning French and English 4 so much fun. I'm going to miss the way that he has always taught, how engaged he was for every student in every class. Thank you, Mr. Turner, for everything you've done for me and the classes that you've taught. Person County Scholar Dimitri Morton honors Morgan Meyer. I selected Mrs. Meyer because throughout my four years in high school, she was always there when I needed help, advice, or just somebody to talk to. As a teacher and coach, Mrs. Meyer always made sure I excelled and pushed me to do the best that I can. I'm extremely grateful for everything that she's done for me, and having a teacher, coach, and friend by my side was the highlight of my entire high school experience. Person County Scholar Jordan Murray honors Kenneth Dixon. What Mr. Dixon was able to teach me will help me not only in life, but as a possible future career. Mr. Dixon was truly an inspiration to me and I wish him the best of luck in the future. Person County Scholar Courtney Paler honors Morgan Brooks. Morgan Brooks was someone who always believed in me from the moment she had me as a student. She was the first teacher that ever gave me tough love, but still displayed how much she cared about me as a person and my success as a student. I excelled so well in her classroom and it was because she never stopped pushing me when times got tough. When thinking of a teacher who, who had an impact on me from the very beginning, I couldn't think of anyone other than her. She's an incredible teacher, but more importantly, she's simply an amazing person. North Carolina scholar Peyton Pearsall honors Dwayne Johnson. Mr. Johnson was there for me on my good and bad days. He is more than just a teacher. He was my life counselor, friend, teacher, and he became family to my siblings and I. I am forever grateful to Mr. Johnson and the endless support I have received from him, even though I was no longer his student. North Carolina scholar Aaron Piper honors Terry Scoggins. The reason I selected Mr. Scoggins is because he taught me a subject that helped me outside of school with the construction job that I have. His class also allowed me to get away from an everyday classroom and learn a hands-on skill. It also helped me prepare for my future in engineering. North Carolina scholar Abby Porterfield honors Jonathan Tonike. I've had Mr. Tonike for Math 2, Homeroom for sophomore year, and STEM. He is easily the best teacher to talk to when I needed help and an overall great person. There was never a dull moment in his class and I am grateful that I got to have him as a teacher. I am glad he was a part of my high school experience. North Carolina scholar Ashley Suddeth honors Prentice Hargrove. Mr. Hargrove is a great, positive, and motivational teacher to be around. Even on his bad days, he still has positive words for others to keep their day bright and gives you the strength to never give up. I appreciate Mr. Hargrove for all the motivational advice. Person County scholar Jordan Thomas honors Chelsea Robinson Johnson. I selected Mrs. Johnson because she has been more than just a teacher to me. She has always made sure that I had everything I needed to be successful in her class and also was there if I ever needed to talk. I love Mrs. Johnson because of her kindness, compassion, and willingness to make sure that the other students and I got the education that we needed in order to be the best educator she could to every student. Thanks Mrs. Johnson for all that you've done for me. North Carolina scholar Ayanna Thorpe honors Jamie Williamy. I selected Mrs. Williamy because she helped me to flourish under her care. She helped me to come out of my shell and to be more involved in my education and to never give up on myself. She had faith in me and she helped me to achieve my goals. Without her, I probably would not be as involved in my education as I am today. I thank you so much for your dedication, commitment, and encouragement, Mrs. Williamy. North Carolina scholar Nathan Vaughn honors Cameron Garris. I selected Mr. Garris for his commitment to the band program, even though he's only been at the school for one year. That being said, 
In that one year, he's become a great mentor and teacher, not only to me, but to so many others in the band program. I will be forever thankful for what he has done for me and all of the band students at PHS. North Carolina scholar Nicholas Villa honors Dwayne Johnson. Mr. Johnson opened up a new world to me in my first AP class. Being that AP was a very rigorous course, it truly showed me how capable I was to compete with anyone and that I was capable of going to college. North Carolina scholar David Wesley honors Bertrand Poole. Mr. Poole wanted everyone he helped to succeed, and I think it is one of the things that helped me. North Carolina scholar Katie Whitaker honors April Olson. I would like to thank Mrs. Olson for continuously pushing me forward, not only in my craft, but also my goals. In the future, I know that she will continue to provide inspiration for others, just as she did for me. North Carolina scholar Cameron Whitman honors Samantha Rieger. I mentioned to Mrs. Rieger that I would select her my 11th grade year. I had her as a year-long teacher for AP language in 10th grade and have returned to her classroom almost every day since. I am proud to be one of her first students at Person High School and I promise to come visit her while in college. She has taught me valuable writing skills, been there for me when I needed to talk, she's written recommendation letters for colleges and scholarships, and been a generally amazing teacher. Thank you for everything, Mrs. Rieger. Person County Scholar Aaliyah Williams honors Linda Lynch. Mrs. Lynch has been my all-time favorite teacher for my four years at Person High School. She kept me on a good path even my 10th grade year. After having my hip surgery and missing school, Mrs. Lynch helped me to get through math two and stuck by my side until I was finished. To Mrs. Lynch, thank you. Person County Scholar Cynthia Wood honors Jonathan Tanike. Mr. Tanike was a wonderful teacher to me. He answered all the questions I had and made sure I understood them. Mr. Tanike didn't only teach me things in his class, he is a man of many talents. He also helped me with my psychology and pre-cal work and always made sure I stayed on top of things. I hope other students realize and appreciate what a great teacher he is to have. North Carolina scholar Michaela Woods honors Cindy Boycher. Mrs. Boycher has inspired me to pursue my career in nursing. She has supported and taught me in my health science classes since my freshman year. Over the past four years, we have built a bond that will last forever. I thank her for all that she has done for me, and I will miss her so much as I start this new chapter in my life. As we come to the conclusion of our evening, we would like to thank you for joining us to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2020. Congratulations to our parents, guardians, teachers, and special guests who have made this journey possible. Best wishes for the days to come. Thank you.